guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a massive Priceline haul for you guys. I have all the stuff laid out in front of me and my golly goodness, there is so much stuff. So I'm not even gonna ramble, let's just get on into the haul. So if you guys know me, you know that I am a fake tan junkie. So I saw that they had the Saint-Tropez Self Tan Express Tan in stock. So I decided to pick up one bottle and oh my goodness, I really don't like this. I've used it once, well twice. I did one layer and then I did a second layer and I really don't like it. Like it's very, very orange, or at least that's what I experienced on the first try. I'll definitely try and use it again, but so far I'm not impressed. I also did pick up my favorite mousse from Saint Tropez. This is just the white bottle. I do like the white bottle better than the black bottle just because I prefer the tone of this one more. However, it isn't as dark as I like, so I normally need to use two layers of this. And then at my price line, this Le Tan Fast Tan in Deep Bronze was on sale. So I decided to pick it up just for days where I just need to be like super tanned, like really, really fast. That's when I thought this would come in handy. I haven't used it yet, but I'm very excited to. So for base products, I only picked up two. So I got the L'Oreal Infallible Matte 24 hour foundation. I definitely want to film my first impressions on this very, very soon. And then I also got the Maybelline Dream Fresh BB Cream. This one is an eight in one, apparently, BB cream, and I got mine in the shade Medium Deep. Um, I just wanted something lighter for like days that I was at work and stuff, so I decided to pick up this one. Who knows if it's even going to match me. I did get a few of these models prefer mineral powder photo powders. I guess, or soft touch powders they're called. This one's called Photo Ready. And then I also got this one, it's called Soft Focus. These apparently are very, very similar to the ambient lighting powders. Oh my goodness, I, I need to tell you guys a story. I was in Priceline with my little cousin. I already picked these two up in the daytime when I was at work. And then in the afternoon, I decided to meet up with my little cousin to go late night shopping on a Thursday. And they didn't have this one shade and they haven't had this one shade. I think it's called like, it's like the bronzy one. And anyway, so we're walking around in the shopping center and they had one left, but it didn't have the seal on it. But I looked at it so close to make sure that it wasn't touched and it wasn't touched. Anyway, I take it up to the counter to pay for it. And yes, you guys, I was going to buy it without the safety seal. Okay, shoot me. I don't know. Anyway, so I took it up to the counter without the safety seal. And because the barcode is on the like the seal, he couldn't scan it because there's no barcode on the back. I don't know why. And he was like, oh, that's the tester. And then I was like, oh, no, no, it's not. Like someone's just stolen the plastic off it. And he was like, nah, nah, nah. And then he looks real close. And it, it was like all guys on the register. And then he looks at it and then he just goes doink into the powder. And then he's like, oh, maybe it's not the tester. Do you still want it? And I'm like, buddy, not after you've stuck your finger in it. Oh, I got so cranky and I still haven't been able to find it ever since. Oh, I am so mad. I can't believe that happened. But literally, he just opened it up and just went doink into the powder. Like, his finger like literally took out a chunk and he's like, do you still want it? It's like, no, no, I don't. Oh, I'm so disappointed in that. But anyway, I did pick up those two and I'm very happy with those. I haven't tried them yet, but I bet they're going to be amazing. I also got this trio, which I really want to do like a multi-purpose makeup look with because there's three shades. This is the um, Mineral Powder Soft Touch again, but this is in Glow too. So you get Luminous Glow, Soft Focus, and Cool Bronze. So you get three shades, which I think would be amazing to do an eye look with. So yeah. Keep an eye out for a tutorial using that, maybe. I don't know, comment down below if you would even be interested in that. I did get a few nail polishes. I did get a few from the Rimmel Salon Pro line, um, just because, I don't know why. I was just kind of like in a nail polish rut, like all my nail polishes were getting a bit gloopy and old, so I was like, okay, I need to get some new nail polishes. So I got this one in the shade Urban Purple, which is more of a like, I don't know how to describe this color, but it's really, really pretty. I also got this nude shade, in the in the shade Soul Session. This one in the shade Punk Rock, which is actually super, super dark, so I'll use that in the winter time. And then also this one, which is called Rock and Roll, which is a gorgeous, gorgeous red. And I also got a Sally Hansen Big Matte Top Coat as well, because I wanted to kind of have diversity with my nail polishes. I also got this eyeshadow palette. This is called the Nude Eyeshadow Palette from Models Prefer. So it does have a few shades in it. Ooh, this is what the palette looks like. I did film my first impressions on this, so I will link it down below if you're curious on how it worked and stuff. I actually really do like this palette. It was quite nice. 
the times that I have used it. I haven't used it all that much, but it is a really, really nice palette. I did get a fragrance, so I did get the Vera Wang Princess Perfume. To be honest, I don't know why it's taking me so long to get this perfume. It's been on my, like, in the back of my mind, like, Laura, you need to pick up this perfume for, like, since I was in, like, year 12, which was in, like, 2011. I was getting ready for my friend's 18th birthday, and I was at my friend's house, and she was like, oh my god, spray this new perfume that I got. And it's been in the back of my mind ever since. I don't know why it's taken me so long. But anyway, that's it there. I've taken off its little crown because I wanted to smell it. But yeah, I love this perfume. I'm so glad that I have it in my collection now. I did get some of the full-size Australis Velour Lips. So I did pick up another Paris. I got the shade Roma, which is a very bright pink. I got the shade Dubai. I also got the shade Budapest. And then I also got Mumbai. And I got Melbourne. From Essence, I did pick up all four of their... Um, all about eyeshadows, but I love these. I haven't used these two yet, the rose or the smoky palette, but I cannot wait to. I think these will be amazing as well. You get like eight pans and they're only $8.20 each. What? Like seriously, that is a bargain. Also from Models Prefer, actually I've gotten a lot of Models Prefer recently. Oh well. Um, this is their contour collection, um, highlighting and contouring pressed powder. I haven't even opened this one yet. Hold on. I just wanted a contouring powder that I could just take with me on the go without taking like a full blown palette. Am I not opening it right? I can't even open it. What the heck? Guys, I can't open the palette. What the heck, guys? Oh my god. Like here's the hinges. So I'm supposed to open it here and it's not opening. Oh my god. That was like, okay, that's really bad. Um, this is what it looks like here. It's a lot more pink tone than what I expected, but I'm sure this will be amazing for setting underneath the eyes regardless. I'm not going to completely close that because I don't think I'm going to be able to open that again. That was really embarrassing. If you guys haven't already seen my first impressions on this, I did pick up the Australis Contour Cream Palette. Um, I will link that video down below if you haven't already seen it. Um, I did do a first impressions on it. I also picked up another powder contour kit. I'm kind of shopping for products for a giveaway. So I did want to pick up one of those for a giveaway. Definitely comment down below if you can think of any other items that you would want me to include because I did get another Bourjois Rouge Edition Velvet Liquid Lipstick kind of thing. This one is in the shade Happy Nude Year. I have wanted this for such a long time and I'm so glad it's now mine. I can't wait to put it on. I can't wait to wear it. I'm actually going to put it on right after this video. I did get another one of my Eco Tools Mini Essentials set. I love this brush and I love this brush. I love this for on-the-go powder and I love this brush for eyebrows, so I had to pick up another set. This brush is okay, but I seem to always lose this one. I also picked up two more Australis Metallics eyeshadows. This one's in shade Guns and Rose Petals. Really, really gorgeous shade. I cannot wait to get my hands into that one. And then a more olive one. This one is in shade JZ. So I was lucky enough to get all three of the Australis Mini Velour Lip Sets. So I got the Nude Set, or the Nude and Pink Set, I should say. This is the Darks and Reds. Set, and then also the brights set. These are also for a giveaway. I also got three for myself as well. Um, so yeah, look out for those as well. So then I did get six of these, but I'm only going to. So I did get two of each shade of these ones. These are the Australis Mini Velour Lips. This is the brights one. I got two of those. I got the darks and reds. I got two of those as well. And then I also got the nudes and pinks. Okay, guys, so that is all the products that I have to show you guys today. Definitely don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on the upcoming giveaway. And, yeah, definitely comment down below if you have any other suggestions on what I should include. And I really don't know what else to say. So I hope you guys are having a wonderful day, and I will see you next time. Bye.